Hey guys, I'm Joel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a day of DoorDash in my 515 horsepower project car. So normally I do it in that car over there and I do this kind of full time. So I decided, would it be a good idea to do it in my E30? So I'll show the engine bay for those of you that have never seen it, but my whole channel is based around this car. So I have the full build, everything on my channel showing off every little detail about how I made this happen and now I'm gonna see if it holds up to the test DoorDash on its own is already so hectic in this car so doing it in this car I don't even know how to go about it honestly I'm gonna start off by grabbing my hot bag first obstacle is this driveway I made it out last night pretty fine but it's never fun to have that be the first obstacle of the day it's already like a million degrees in here. I, wa <laughs> I washed the car like 20 minutes ago. And I forgot that leaving the car out in the sun cooking itself is probably not the best idea. So I'm gonna warm it up while I set up everything for the, for the dash camera because I have no idea. I need this. I have no idea how I'm gonna record this. But I think that the fun of this is gonna be how hectic it's gonna be. <laughs> because it's already so hot in here and it's 11:30, so it's gonna be a fun day <laughs> i'm gonna just leave you guys right there i think that's a good angle close the garage i feel like i'm forgetting so much but <laughs> i'm gonna fill up gas first so and then fill up at the end of the day so i can show you guys how much gas and I want, i'm curious how much gas it'll take but normally in that car i could do about three days of all day so it's like 20 dollars every three days it's not bad at all 30 dollars now actually that the gas has gone up first obstacle getting out of the driveway there's gonna be a lot of that happening today because the apartment complexes i'm not saying no if it's a good order because <laughs> i'm gonna act as if i'm in the daily so doordash is a texting and driving simulator so it's way there's no around it you have to text and drive that's what you got to do the door is open they took my piece of wood away ha bruh <laughs> take much because I filled up a few days ago but normally I start right around 11 and it's 11 45 so <laughs> I'm starting a little late but that doesn't matter I thought it was only gonna take like a gallon and a half but I guess I was ripping it a little more than I thought so normally I start dashing when I'm in my house and then when a good order comes then I'll leave my house but I don't want you guys knowing where I live so I'm gonna go out to where I normally am and then start dashing there I didn't even hear this because my sound was down but this is a good order I'm taking this one for sure, I'm taking this one. Oh. She almost backed into me, yo. <laughs> so I made it to the restaurant. I'm about to run in real quick and get this order. So in the parking lot, as I'm about to walk into the same store that I got the order, I got this one. I'm gonna take it. it kind of puts me out of my zone, kind of far away, but it's $11, I'm gonna take it. So these are the two. I'm gonna run in there and get it. That's one of the orders. I'm waiting for the other. Both of them. This thing looks crazy right now. So it's been 12 minutes since I got this order. One is literally right down the street and then the other one is kind of far, so. So now I gotta say that I picked up the orders. Kinda just gotta force it, so. Speed bump. Not bad. Hi, I'm here with your order. So order one is done. Leave a nice little smiley face just cause. Six dollars. Alright, now we gotta go to this place. Normally 
six miles is not 16 minutes, but it's just the area that it put me in. I'm getting absolutely scorched. My I'm getting the craziest trucker tan because of doing DoorDash. This sun is just frying my left arm and then my right arm is just no problems. and be like hey see that's fire $13 instead of 11 so now in 30 minutes since I accepted that order I made 20 $19 so I'm gonna zoom back like I was saying people come out of their house and look at me in this and they're just like <laughs> she was looking at me crazy like what is he doing why is he <laughs> why is he driving that this I'm not going all the way back to Westfield to go into Hartford Normally you want to get an order that's about a mile per dollar, but I don't even listen to that anymore. It's all about where the order is going to place you after it's done and how far it is and just the area. It's so much more that goes into it for you to make the $20, $30 an hour. But now I'm just driving waiting for an order to come. That's the nature of the game. Sometimes you got a really good start like now at $20. And you don't get anything for the rest of the hour. So it's like, I'm about to park up in these chilies. Damn, there's no shade though. Bruh, hold up. That shit is far as hell, but seven items. See, I just stalled, bruh. There's too much going on, yo. I thought I was in neutral. shade car is getting a little bit warm oil is at like 190 which is not it never goes above 180 so it's a little bit warm I'm gonna just chill here yo this shade feels crazy hey see this is one that I will definitely take 775 for 3.8 miles let's go let's get to that I'm gonna just slither myself into this spot right here. I was right across the street, so that was like a two minute drive waiting at the light. My baby. Pick up the order. Seven minutes away. The car just stalls when I put the clutch in sometimes. It's so annoying. Five minutes away from the destination to do the delivery. After I finished this delivery, it would have been 55 minutes since I first got the D'Angelo's order. So, whatever I make after this is basically what I made in the first hour. That's on the high end though. Nope, not doing that. That brings me to an area that I do not like. New Britain is an L. On my CT boys, New Britain is the biggest L. This is Chili's. Chili's has a really bad reputation for me. 
but I'm gonna take it just cuz I'll see if this is gonna be worth it because if the order's done fast I can go pick it up bring it in 15 minutes be done with it but if the order if I have to wait 10 minutes for it to be done no good it's 12:50. made it to Chili's let's see how long they take <laughs> It's 12.51. <laughs> the order was already ready on the shelf. Let's go. That's the best. Normally it's all about time. Distance kind of doesn't really matter. It's all time. Six minutes away. Normally me driving this car for two to three hours is equivalent of me driving eight to 10 hours of my daily. Like how tired I get and how just worn out. After two to three hours, I'm fried. So I'm really curious to see how I'm gonna be at the end of today just because pushing the clutch in every two seconds having to pay so much attention how uncomfortable how hot it's just so much makes it very tiring I'm about to park right in front of the store leave the car running run in real quick give the order and be out fast that's what you got to do but it's I'll be back it was a matter of two seconds go in do the delivery I handed it to them I don't give you a smiley face very good, six dollars. And I like to see, I got the order 13 minutes ago. So six dollars in 13 minutes, not bad. Oh, that curve was so close. I got this one, $10, I'm taking it, but I have a slight feeling that Chipotle is gonna take forever. Because they're always understaffed. I feel so bad, everyone working there is working their ass off. Shout out to everyone that works at Chipotle. Welded diff. This car has a welded diff and I'm daily driving it. It's not as bad as people over it. I mean, it's pretty bad for my transmission and I feel bad for it, but it's not hard at all to daily drive this car. It's ready. Oh my God. The order was ready. So now let's see, you know, the usual, see how far it is. 11 minutes, what? $10 and 12 minutes because I got the order like two minutes ago, whatever. 15 minutes, ten dollars. I made it, and I think he's standing outside waiting, so I'm gonna go do that right now. And did order directly. I don't give a smiley face. This is so uncomfortable. Oh, $11. So I'm at $46. That order took 14 minutes. Exactly how I said. Picking where you go after you're done with orders is like the hardest, most crucial part. Because one area is bad and you go to that bad area, it could kill your hour. It's 125. It's starting to get to the slower time. And I've made $46 now. In 20 minutes, it'll be two hours since I started. I just got a decent chili order, so I'm gonna turn around and go to Chili's and do this one. I made it to the Chili's. I almost forgot to record. It's been <laughs> feels like it's been forever. I'm gonna walk in. It's 1:34. We'll see how long it takes. Again, already done. This is the second time that they have the order done for me. I'm so <laughs> they never do this like that. I got drinks now, so I gotta chill. Leave it at my door. Do not ring the doorbells. The <laughs> dog gets riled up. Shade. Now I gotta take a picture. Give a smiley face. 55. <laughs> In two hours, I made 55. I think, right? Yeah. It's 11.48. I just got this order. I'm gonna accept it just because it's six dollars and it's most of the mileage is to get back to the restaurant. I did choose to do Friday because Friday is normally my best day. I was gonna do Thursday, but I was like, what's the fun of that? I gotta do the busiest day <laughs> just to make it worse on me. But by far the worst thing right now out of all of this, two hours in, is this bolstering. Oh my goodness, my whole arm is like dead. All of this. I was already sore from the gym yesterday, but like, damn. I did not feel like I've been sitting down for two hours already. Time is going by a lot faster than if I was in the other car. How did 
did that just stall? I'm not even... Again? Are you gonna do it again? All right, just made it. There's no way I'm gonna be three for three for picking up three orders in a row and all three being ready. <laughs> it's done. They're going crazy today. They're going absolutely crazy today. Normally DoorDash sends me the order right when they get the order. So then it's just like, I have to wait 10 minutes for them to finish the order. It's OD. It's five minutes away. <laughs> Bruh. I'm... Whenever I push the clutch in, it just stalls. The AFR gauge is reading 17 at idle. Tell if that's accurate. 16.5, 16.6. I give it a little gas and it goes down to 14. 12, 14. When I'm driving, 13, 12, 14. At idle, is that why I just keep stalling every single time that I push the clutch in? makes me wait so this is gonna be very interesting how long this is gonna be there we go yo I have never had <laughs> you should have seen my face this is cool sight though I hardly ever see 300 ZX's out in public nah I have to warn you guys this is I don't know what's going on normally at least one store makes me wait 10 to 15 minutes and it happens every day, at least two to three times a day, and it hasn't happened yet. The delivery was only four minutes away, and it only took 12 minutes to do the order. <laughs> it took eight minutes to get to the restaurant, which is like, that's the dream, that's what you want, old bird. Like I said, make sure the door can always open. <laughs> you can see me standing in that picture. I don't care though. I'll give him a smiley face because the order was ready. $68. It's almost time to go home. I gotta go eat lunch. There's a very good chance that this is a, a hidden tip. But it's a very good chance that it's not a hidden tip too. So I'm gonna take the risk. And see if it actually is. I'll take it. It's starting to set in. I'm getting really tired. <laughs> but uh, it's part of the game. It's part of the fun. I love it here. They always do me so good, but look how good it looks. I only had to wait like two minutes, but I could not complain about this place, Ginza. They have made me so much money from people ordering huge orders of sushi. And then I deliver and they give like $25, $30 tip. And it happens all the time. And they're always ready. Like at, on rush hours, this is the only restaurant that I can rely on them being done on time. Took 
10 minutes. Five dollars in 10 minutes. Highway miles are not slow miles. Oh my God, are you serious? I wanna go home and eat. This is the opposite direction of my fucking house. I'm not gonna say no, are you serious? I can't take it anymore. I cannot, my arm is getting fried. I should have put sunscreen on before to be honest. Finally. <laughs> I actually wanna wait in here because the AC is so good. She came and helped me bring the drinks out because there's way too much. But these two big ass bags. <laughs> oh my God. It is one and a half miles away, six minutes. Oh no, this is, the drink is already spilling on me. <laughs> I tried putting it up here, but there is no way. It's looking like one of those. Oh my God, I gotta hold the drinks the whole time. <laughs> the car is just too stiff. It'll fall, the drinks will fall. Oh, blind spot check is not happening in this one. This sucks. Oh, there she is. She's outside. The car stalled. Oh my god. All right, she's outside. I'm gonna just bring it to her. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do two trips. Oh. I'll give it a smile to the face. Confirm. Holy. There we go. Big ass order. Twenty dollar tip. Just as a quick little note, I'm three hours in right now, and I have ninety six dollars. How does it scrape less with no road than before? Watch the mirror. We're good. I'm home. She is nine minutes away, 3.4 miles. And I've delivered to her before, and every time I've delivered, she was a very good tipper. Let's see if that's still true. Smiley face. <laughs> Twenty dollar tip. Let's go. <laughs> Got some shit in my mouth, but she always blesses me. That's like the third or fourth time that that lady has blessed me. I'm not taking this to her for anything. Burger King. I'm gonna be honest. I hate Burger King. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm gonna do it, even though I I try and never do Burger King orders. I'm gonna do it. 457. Let's see. It's 506 now, and <laughs> there was a girl in there, and she was like, Where the fuck are? And then she named two girls' names, and she was like, Where the fuck are they at? <laughs> and she was like, I'm trying to leave. Where they at? So that's why Burger King is, and all these fast foods are always an L because <laughs> nobody cares about that job. So they. <laughs> show up late as hell. I feel bad, y'all. I mean, that there's nothing I can do. I'll never complain to one of them because of that. But it's 11 minutes away. Let's go. He came out to the car. Ah, I'm not even going to leave, leave anything. 8.50. <laughs> that means that no one wanted to do the delivery. And DoorDash had to keep upping the pay until someone accepted it. $2 tip and then like $6.50 DoorDash pay. Dude, this car is fucking pissing me off now. It keeps stalling. It's like. I'm not doing this for $4.50. Get out of my face. Don't stall. What the fuck? What was that, yo? This car is getting harder and harder to drive the more I drive it. And I don't like it. As I was changing the battery, I got one that I liked. It puts me in an area that is in my zone. So, I'm taking that. The order was ready, once again. I've never had this good of luck of orders being ready. No, dude, what the fuck is wrong with this car, yo? No, I'm getting pissed now. It keeps stalling. 
dolly. Making me look like a dumbass. And it's not me, it's just fuck. I push the clutch in and it stalls. It's eight minutes away, so. So much and then there it's good <laughs> so these two big ass pizzas this does not fit whatever that is <laughs> that's staying like that bro Over here sitting waiting for an order and the place that I'm at completely it was a huge hot spot and now there's nothing so I'm about to go back to the bike it's 623 this is a good order finally I relocated and I got a good order got the order here and the place is five minutes away let's go that's that's the dream right there I'll leave a smiley face. Eight dollars. It's kind of risky taking this because it's gonna put me back to the area that was dead, but I'm gonna do it. This one's pretty far, but I, I don't know. I'm just gonna take it <laughs> and hope for the best. I'm gonna. <laughs> that's normally how it is. Take it and hope for the best. Chili's gets a ten out of ten today because every single time I've come in here. They've had the order ready. Ooh, cringe. And now my other order is to TGI Fridays. The walk up to the car never gets old, but the drive definitely does get old. The TGI Friday order was like less than a two minute wait and the Chili's one was another instantly ready. <laughs> it's 6.52 right now. And then the first order is nine minutes away. I'll leave a smiley face. 750, not bad, not bad. This other one, that's 10 minutes away. I have no idea where this place is at. Oh, the one, there it is. You can get a smiley face. <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted, yo. How much more of this can I handle? How much more do I want to do? Because this, yo, this car has been pissing me off the last few hours. It's stalling every time I push the clutch in. If I don't, it's doing what it did before I had a tune. I don't know why, but the drivability is absolute dog shit right now. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> I'm definitely doing this for one item, I gotta go into Hartford. Oh, I think I, I think I've delivered to this person before. Bruh, I said one item, huh, that's weird. $122 for the ultimate family feast, holy shit. so heavy <laughs> this is a lot of food son i'm honestly so over this but like look the car just stalls for no fucking again nah <laughs> for no reason yo i've been dealing with this for the past three hours how do i i really need Figure this out, yo. Uh, I'm going to the back, bro. There's no parking on the street. Like it's all full. <laughs> I hope this is the building. This building. 
is the biggest maze now. I don't know where I'm going. Damn, you know, I've delivered to her before. Look at this, bro. She gave me five dollars, four, and then four quarters. This lady gave me a cash tip last time too. I think this lady's waiting for me to move so that <laughs> she could park here. I'm gonna just back out because I didn't scrape coming in, so dude, this is too much. Yup, she is waiting for me. <laughs> she gave me a cash tip last time. She gave me like $10 last time too. I was like, you don't even have to after giving a huge tip in the app. I was like, what the hell? You really do not have to do that. And but she was like, here. I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna, I swear to everything, I'm gonna break something, yo. She gets a smiley face, for sure. Oh, this door's not closed. Oh my God, look, she already, she gave a big ass tip in the app on top with $5 cash. What? She's an angel. I broke 200 today. I'm at $206. That is crazy in the E30. I broke 200 in the E30. Granted, 30 is gonna be for like gas, but still like 170 is a beautiful day. For you guys that have never heard it. <laughs> that is so much louder under that bridge. Oh my. I've never done it under a bridge and I was not expecting it to be that loud. Oh my. God. Oh, $201 in 8.1 hours. But I took an hour break, so. Oh. So surprised that's the first time that that's happened. That's pretty good. $201 in seven hours of like actual, I took an hour break. I don't know, whatever you guys want to consider it. Damn, I said it was gonna take nine gallons, but it took eight gallons, $27. <laughs> oh my God, this. I thought it was gonna take nine gallons, but it took eight. I mean, that's still pretty bad, but like for driving it, I'll tell you exactly how many miles we drove today. After adding up all the miles in the mile tracking app, I drove 124 miles in the E30. So that means I was getting 15.5 miles per gallon, which I thought I was gonna be getting like 12 miles per gallon driving like how I was driving. So it's not as bad as I really thought it was gonna be. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do another one. If you guys want me to do another one, I don't know. It all depends. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure you just subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Follow me on Instagram right here at E30Joel to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. And yeah, thank you for watching.